Hey guys, this is Sam Wise from DSN Gaming, back with uh, my virtual training for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Sorry I haven't been doing them lately, but you know, Christmas, New Year, the holiday season, that's all been going on, so I've been a bit busy with that. Now that's over, I can get back to making videos for you guys. So, here we're on the hardest ones, the stealth assassination. Um, all my friends who played this, including ones of DSM, uh, Daniel, Michael, Jake, have all done these, said that the stealth assassinations are the really hard ones. These are the main ones I've done these videos for, but uh, yeah, here we are, they're split into two sections, hidden blade and all weapons. Um, the first hidden blade ones, you have to use your hit, only your hidden blade to kill all the guys without getting noticed. It also puts you on Notorious. So on this one, run forward first. Up on these guys, um, quite a lot of the hidden blade ones are going to be off ledges. But especially on the first one, it doesn't need to be low profile. You can hold the right trigger and assassinate all you want. Just uh, be careful of who might be watching. This is an order that I got it in. You can't just go and do it in any order. Because people will see you and bad things will happen. Uh, this is an order that worked for me. There's oh, well, certainly other orders you can do it in. But this one worked for me. Be sure to do that guy low profile though. Like I just said, kind of erases it. But if you do him high profile, this guy sees. Pull him over the ledge. Now... This bit, don't go left and to get those guys because there are so many different people watching. Just go forward, drop down, and get this guy. Yeah, see, that was high profile. Could have done low profile, but. As much as it says you're notorious, it doesn't really. Um, seem like you're notorious, it's just, what, feels as if you're normal, right, on this one, once you get that guy, that guy on the thing will see you, I've always just seen you, uh, uh assassinate your, his mate, he still doesn't do anything, just hide behind that, um, corner, and then fast walk towards him, before he sees, then you can, uh, high profile assassinate him there, then you've just got the last guy, even if this last guy sees you, it'll still set you back to the beginning. So be careful with this guy. Don't go running in on him or he'll see you. Just take it slow. Round the edge. I think I'll pop up soon here. Yeah, I'll just come up behind him. And there we are, right in the back. Hidden blade one. Stealth assassination training complete. Now, I shot the video a bit too uh, late, but this is the all weapons number one. All weapons is, well, as it says, you can use any weapon you want to kill the guys. It's basically just the same map from the step from the hidden blade one, but you're allowed to use any weapon you want. So you kind of already know where all of the enemies are. You just need to kill them with whatever the weapon you want. Right, right at the beginning of the all weapons ones, you're gonna want to go onto your weapon wheel and put one of the long range weapons like the crossbow or the pistol on the shortcuts because. It mainly, it says you can use any weapon you want, but the only weapons that really need to be used are the hidden blade and a long range weapon, crossbow, pistol, choose your pick. But uh, I went for the crossbow because it's my personal favourite. Now on this one you don't have to do it in the same order. You can kill people who are watching first. And it takes obviously less time because you don't have to get up right close to them. You can just take them out with a crossbow. Right, on this one... I did go up here instead of dropping down, just stay here and the guys are saying, yeah, he almost saw me. Uh, don't go moving too fast and try to hit them as soon as possible. Now this is the guy that kept seeing me before. Got him. You will be using your crossbow or pistol a lot in these. It just makes it easier instead of a... You can obviously use other weapons you like, but uh, I used I used the crossbow and hidden blade. On that one, stay what um, shuffling around the edge, just going straight away. Hidden blade number two, complete new map, and just the hidden blade. Uh, just a uh, right now should have done at the beginning of the video, but I apologise for the really bad quality of some of my videos. Uh, I am getting a capture card soon. The only thing is I don't know which capture card to get. 
Uh, I've got about 15 quid to spend on a capture card. I might be able to go a little bit over. But if any of you guys have uh, capture cards that you think uh, would be good for me to use, just uh, leave their name and a good place to buy them in the comments. Uh, I prove it would be good if they, you could buy them from Amazon, but uh, I'm not that picky. Right, this one, once you pull him over the edge, he will see and he'll come to investigate. Once he jumps on the middle beam, launch yourself off here and down the edge. He should just catch a glimpse of you, and then he'll come walking towards you. Uh, my one, they usually do it normally, but my guy was a bit glitchy, laggy, and uh, started moving strangely. This is probably my favourite of the kills. You pull this guy down, this bit you see his legs. Ooh, he lands flat on his legs, just snap him in half. Fall down on this guy, it's like a cat and mouse. Set the trap out, and uh, here he comes. And this one, you have to shuffle round and do it low profile. If you do that, kill high profile. The guy on the top will see you, and there is no point. And there we go. Training complete. All weapons number two. The map from Hidden Blade 2, but all weapons. There we go, you might have just noticed my, uh, for the beginning of that video, all my sound was out of sync. At least my voice was with the rest of it. It should be fixed now, I've just changed it. But Yeah, right up the, just jump on the things till you, right underneath them, the bars. And on this one, because it's all weapons, don't go and shoot that guy, because the guy up here will see you. You can pull him down, hop up, the guy will still see you, just to uh, get your crossbow out, in the back of the neck. Get him down. And, uh, yeah, you don't do it dissimilar, the all weapons ones, till you do it with the hidden blade ones. Still with the bait and trap. That guy down. Oh, also on that one, if you're looking in the top right corner to wait until you can air assassinate where it says X, uh, I'm not sure it is what on the PS3 because I don't play it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it doesn't come up saying you should, you can assassinate him, but you can just press the button. Don't wait for that to come up. And there we are. All weapons too. Done. Hidden blade number three. This is the final hidden blade one. So, yeah, two more to do, and then we're over with this one, and next, I think, it's on to, ooh, the collecting? Yeah, we will locate the hidden border flags, but that's next video, so here we are. First one, instead of running forward, I get to strike tricky there, uh, run back and get this guy here. Uh, amazingly, he doesn't see you. Just fast walk up to him run up with this guy. Hey look, Ben was on there. No, it doesn't matter. Anyway, drop down onto this. This guy will just see you, but be sure to be quick with the air assassination. Boom. Then run around the side instead of running up. Onto down. Then run up the side onto the, um, pull over this guy. Whoop. And he's gone. You can kill that guy or the guy I'm about to kill now, um, either way. Uh, uh, it's amazing how the guy in front of him doesn't see me just uh, pull him off the ledge, but, you know, these border guards are thick as bricks. Launch on this guy. It looks pretty straightforward the way I'm doing it, but... These can be a real, well, not allowed to say it, but, uh, well, these can be a real bitch to get in the order right. Um, when I first tried these, as you see, I'm just replaying them. When I first tried these, I must have replayed each of them at least five times, getting the order exactly right. But anyway, final hit on blade one, finished, and we're on all weapons. Same map, same enemies, just... Using a crossbow and a pistol too. Oh, 
Oh, just realised this will be our first video of 2011. Happy 2011, everyone. And this one, it starts you looking behind. I don't know why. But yeah. Going to the right just like normal. Select your crossbow. Yeah, don't do that. I still had my crossbow selected when I uh, killed him. Kill that guy with the hidden blade like you did in the hidden, um, the hidden blade challenge one. Don't try and get lucky with the crossbow. I mean, if you're amazingly skilled at this game, unlike me, you can do that. But I just got lucky there. Didn't intend to do that. I don't know why I ran up the wall. I forgot what I meant to be doing. Run around the side, just like before. Now, it looks as if I'm doing it exactly the same way. The only guy I've killed with the crossbow was that lucky kill, which uh, you don't need to get, but... Instead of killing this guy and then dropping back down, you can kill him, mark that target, get back up, be sure to shoot him really quickly with your crossbow. Then just take out the remaining two guys with the crossbow now. And there we are, training complete. Right, that's the end of this video. Hope that's helped. They are the hardest challenges of them all. And uh, yeah, this has been Samwise from DSM Gaming. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll be back with more helpful videos.